Okay, so what are we doing now? I'm standing here at the front of Jethro's Barbecue. And I'm going to go in here, Jethro's Barbecue and Jake's Smokehouse Steaks. I want to go in here and get a pork tenderloin sandwich. Rode my bicycle over here. Because it's just across the street from Adventureland and the campground. And I'm going to get a pork tenderloin sandwich because that is supposed to be a real big deal here in Iowa. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to get it to go and uh, take it back over to the campground and check this pork tenderloin out. So just hang in there with me a minute. Okay, folks, I do not know what I got myself into here. <laughs> I went over there for a sandwich and an order of fries. And a sandwich and an order of fries comes in a brown paper bag. I mean a big brown paper bag. Got plenty of napkins to go for it. Nice. You should put me a couple of ketchups, I guess, for my fries. A couple of mustards. She said people eat mustard on their pork tenderloin. I asked her about it. Have you ever seen a sandwich and fry come in? <laughs> Something like that. That's insane there. Don't get these brown paper bags much anymore. Something now, this looks crazy. A sandwich and order of fries comes in this big aluminum foil thing. Holy cow! Holy cow! I don't know, I don't know how to start with this. Look at this sandwich. That's just absolutely crazy. I don't know. That piece of meat shooting toward. <laughs> this piece of meat is shooting towards eight inches wide. I know it is. Well, that's pretty good. I was trying to find out how people ate this thing around here. You put cheddar, cheddar cheese on it. I said, fix it how you eat it. So I guess this is how she eats. So I'm going trust to a, trust a local from here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at all these french fries. Look at that order of french fries. And that sandwich. Have you ever seen such a sandwich? Holy cow. Okay, I have to find some salt and pepper, and I'll be back in a little bit. Maybe I won't be back in a little bit, but I will be back. Well, I was in there waiting for this to get fixed. Oh, I forgot to put my mustard on. 
Well, I was in there waiting for this to get fixed. I was reading the wall. They had a lot of interesting stuff up there. Uh, that man versus food TV show guy had gone in there and made a show in this Jeff Rose barbecue. They've got some sandwich in there that's pork tenderloin, beef brisket, uh, barbecue. I forget what all it had on it. But anyway, man versus food couldn't eat it. <laughs> I think they call that, he called that food wins or something like that. But anyway, they had several people on the wall there and how long it had taken them to eat that sandwich, the ones that were successful. And uh, most of the guys were eating them in like 15 seconds and 10.8 seconds. And surprisingly enough, a woman, and I mean, she wasn't that big. They had a photo of her there. Had the record for eating that sandwich the fastest at seven, seven minutes and some odd seconds. But I used to like that TV show. Used to watch it quite a bit. I'm surprised that guy hasn't died of a heart attack already. But I'm gonna take another bite of this sandwich. I'm just, uh, boy, this is something. No kidding. You know how big a soda bottle is. I mean, check this out. <laughs> this is insane. I'll be... It's pretty good, though. This must be like the... This area's answer to the country fried... No, what do they call that? Chicken fried steak. That's amazing. Well, let me see how much of this I can get rid of. And, uh, hope you enjoyed this little, this, I can't say little food tasting. I hope you enjoyed this big food tasting. Uh, by the way, uh, if anybody's interested, all this was $11.61. That was for fries and the, and the sandwich. I didn't get anything to drink because I had some lemon water made up here at the house. Yeah.